So what I want to do here is just show you uh, how regions and availability zones work with some different AWS services. So you have a general idea when you are selecting uh, a region or AZ and when you're not. So within AWS, when you want to select a region, you're going to go up here and change it. And this is going to apply to uh, regional services. A very famous example of a regional service would be EC2. So we go over to EC2, which is Elastic uh, Cloud Computing or Compute, whatever. I always forget the name of it. And what we can do is go over to Instances. I'm going to launch an instance. I'm not going to complete the process. I just want to show you uh, what would happen when you go select some things here. So I'm going to go with Amazon Linux 2. Um, we're going to just go to uh, next here. And so here is where we're going to select um, our availability zone. So up here we have North Virginia, that's our region. And when I say we're selecting our availability zone, we're actually selecting the subnet. So, so here we are choosing a subnet and a subnet is associated to a availability zone. And every single um, uh, region has a default VPC and that VPC has uh, subnet set up and the subnets are defaulted to each of the availability zones available. So US East 1 has six of them. So this server is going to launch in US East 1B. So this is a regional service, okay? Uh, then we have global services like S3. So we go over to S3 and it says it's global, right? And so we're gonna go ahead and create our bucket. And so here, we choose the region. So we go down, we're gonna say the region we want to be in, but we don't choose the availability zone because there's nothing to um, uh, choose because AWS is going to run these in uh, multiple AZs and it doesn't matter to you what it's doing there, okay? Um, so there's that. And then there's something like CloudFront. So CloudFront's a little bit uh, different here. So we go over to CloudFront and we create ourselves a distribution. Um, and so, yeah, if you, if you don't have that option there, because sometimes AWS has like a splash screen, just click on the left-hand side, then go to distributions, okay? And so here, well, they changed it again on me. They're always changing this uh, UI, but if we scroll on down, it should allow us to change, um, change where this is going to launch. It's like global and stuff like that. Literally, they just recently changed this and that's why I'm confused. Uh, we'll scroll on down here. It used to be, uh, maybe it's under legacy, additional, customized. Oh, it's here, sorry. Okay, so notice here the price class that says use the edge locations for best performance, North America and Europe, North America, Europe, Asia, Middle, uh, Middle East and Africa. So we're not choosing a particular region, we're picking a geographical area and so those are pretty much the major um, uh, uh, examples of that. Uh, then there's of course things like in IAM where you don't even say where it is. So you go into IAM, you know, and if I create something like a group uh, over here, a user group, whoops, here, I say create group. You know, I'm not saying, oh, this is for this particular region or something like that, okay? So yeah, hopefully that makes sense.